Welcome to Chase Talks. My name's Chase, broadcasting to you from Grimwood, tangled within the Galar region. Now, within the last 24 hours, Sonia, the granddaughter of Professor Magnolia, asked us to watch a 24 hour research stream in order to see what sort of Pokemon inhabit Glimwood Forest. Now, I seriously doubt that everyone in the world wanted to sit down and watch 24 hours straight of this stream, especially because there were long stretches of nothing happening, which was very realistic for what a real research footage looks like. So what I did was watch it for you. So I've collected images of all of the Pokemon that have appeared within Glimwood Tangled during the research event. So I am going to bring those to you now. First, I'll start with Pokemon from previous regions that we've seen are returning in Glimwood Tangled. First Pokemon, to nobody's surprise, is Pikachu. Pikachu was shown prominently throughout Glimwood Tangle, appearing several different times, including right up in front of the screen a few times and running across the background several other times. The next Pokemon that we saw featured fairly prominently was Phantom. I'm personally a huge fan of Phantom, the little ghost type Pokemon. He was seen flying in the background probably about four times and flying towards the camera another time. Now even more prominently to these two were the amount of fairy type Pokemon we saw. We saw minor appearances from Pokemon such as Cottony and Swirlix, as well as more major appearances from Pokemon like Morlul that we saw fall from the sky several times throughout the stream. We saw them march across the camera, and we saw them kind of pop up and run away a few times throughout the stream, which makes sense for a mushroom forest. It wasn't exclusive to Morlul, though. We also saw its evolution, Shinotic, walk across the background. And that's it for Pokemon from previous generation that we saw during the stream. As far as new Pokemon from the Galar region that we saw during the stream, we saw Impidimp very, very, very prominently throughout the stream. We saw him run towards the camera several times, walk across the camera, come sniff the camera. He blurred the camera. He did a ton of stuff messing with us as we were doing it. And he, again, is another fairy type, being dark and fairy. There's a very big fairy theme of this mushroom forest with really the only exceptions being Phantom and Pikachu. But Impidimp isn't the only Pokemon that we saw running around Glimwood Tangled. We also saw a brand new, more mysterious Pokemon. This Pokemon was featured crazy heavily throughout it, and it was mostly just teased. We saw it appear on the sides, we saw its main light up, it appears to be a horse. Um, looking very similar to Ponyta. We actually hear Ponyta's cries as well. And this is how the event was, and it was mostly blurred. We didn't get a good shot of it. Until we finally got one shot of it kind of lazily running across the screen, giving us a very clear image of what this possibly Galarian Ponyta looks like. Even more so, when the stream closed out, we actually got to see two of these Galarian Ponytas, what I'm going to call Galarian Ponytas, walk out into the center of the clearing and they started playing with each other. They snuggled with each other and one's mane lit up like a rainbow and its tail lit up by a rainbow. The other one didn't have a tail. They ran around and they ran off screen together, which closed out the stream. After the screen turned black, heard a cry, which sounded like Rapidash's. So while we didn't get to see any pictures of Galarian Rapidash, we did actually get to hear its cry. With the high prevalence of fairy Pokemon in the area that we've seen so far, I would assume that Glarian Rapidash and Glarian Ponyta are fairy types, but of course that is an assumption. As of recording this, we do not have any official statements from Pokemon yet. So that's the report of everything that we saw throughout Glimwood Tangled. This is going to be a pretty quick video today. <laughs> I don't want to waste too much of your time. I just wanted to help you out so you don't have to try and scrub through 24 hours worth of footage so you can just watch this quick and short video and get everything that you might have missed if you only got to catch a small segment of the 24 hour stream or not. Now again, this was very, very realistic to real life research footage. I actually really enjoyed it. I think this is a really cool way to introduce these new Pokemon. And actually the long stretches for me made it almost like more hype when a Pokemon finally did appear in the stream, right? If you were sitting there for 20 minutes and there was just nothing happening while well, it was a boring 20 minutes. When Pokemon finally appeared, it was so much hype. And then the end, like the build up to 24 hours to see the two Ponytas playing together, it was pretty awesome too. So I, over and all, 
enjoyed it. You know, I like it's very it was very immersive, you know, realistic flair into the Pokemon game. That's going to be it for this episode. Thanks for watching. Remember to rate the video, comment the video, and subscribe so you never miss an episode of Chase Talks. Until next time, this is Chase and Glarian Ponyta signing off.